actually taken all the lung fields and we miss that you can sometimes miss the pneumonias that are you know basal pneumonias yeah. if you're not actually I'm a practicing internist um, I often say that that leads my professional identity taking care of patients and particularly taking care of patients who are from vulnerable populations uh, often underserved I'm Marcella Nunez Smith. I'm an attending physician in internal medicine at Yale New England Hospital. I'm also teaching faculty at Yale School of Medicine, Yale School of Public Health, and the School of Management. One of the things that I've come to realize in almost two decades of practice is the need to really have people who are decision makers and policy leaders who are trained on issues related to minority health leadership and policy. Uh, and I think that is at the crux of why we need more healthcare providers to be trained with a management and leadership skill set to address these really persistent disparities. But I didn't know you came in knowing what you wanted to do. Yeah, I've always been kind of interested in op, though I worked in optometry. The Commonwealth Fund uh, has long been uh, invested and committed to supporting training and professional development for those leaders who are going to help us uh, really get to the bottom and solve stubborn health and healthcare inequities. But physicians will always say, stop talking to me about this until you fix that. So I think we really need to tackle them. We know that the patients that are coming to our emergency room don't have a usual source of care. Uh, and so we find a lot of these patients getting disorganized, disrupted care through an emergency room setting. I'm Howie Foreman. I'm a professor of diagnostic radiology, management, public health, and economics at Yale University, where I also practice radiology. I am also the faculty director of the healthcare track of the executive MBA program at the School of Management. I was so excited when I got a phone call from Howie saying we have an opportunity to think together about something visionary and something new um, that would even deepen and strengthen the collaborations between the School of Medicine and the School of Management. It's not just about delivering care directly to minority health populations. It's not just about being role models for people in the minority health space. Uh, it's all of these things. Every two weeks when they come to class, they're bringing new problems to the table and hopefully going back to solving those problems real time. We're able to leverage and use the executive MBA format at the School of Management to invite uh, into the cohort mid-career leaders who are already committed to thinking about minority health vulnerable populations and equip them with the necessary skill set that will make them more effective in their positions uh, and elevate really their voices and their influence um, all towards this shared mission, shared goal of eliminating healthcare disparities uh, and health inequities more broadly. The format of this program is one that really invites people who didn't think there would be mid-career professional development opportunities to look afresh uh, at their own career trajectories and really take great advantage of all Yale has to offer. The students take class in global health, in healthcare operations, a competitive strategy slash advanced health economics class, and now a population health and data management class in healthcare. So the students get the full MBA plus a core curriculum in healthcare management. We're providing an opportunity for both mentorship, for leadership development, for career development, so that every student that comes through here has the opportunity to be able to ascend to the highest level and giving them the skills, support, the network, uh, the capacity training, the leadership development in order to uh, help them actualize and become uh, successful leaders in minority health policy within government, within the not-for-profit space, within the for-profit space. I am honored to be a physician. I'm honored to be welcomed into the lives of my patients. We take care of people from every walk of life, every background, and most certainly, I'm inspired and motivated by the stories and the lives of these patients. I also know the promise we have through initiatives such as this one to make a really lasting generational difference in the lives of these individuals, their families, and quite frankly, neighborhoods and communities across the country.